This is an Aldis Auto Quest 175. It's a 2014 model with just over 7,000 miles on the clock. It's been serviced uh, in accordance with manufacturer's instructions and it has just had a habitation check and a service. Condition both inside and out is probably as good as you'll get for the year. It has been looked after as you can see. It comes with a wind out awning, tow bars fitted. Uh, there is a uh, option to buy a tow bar mounted two, two rack bike rack that you can see there. That fits neatly onto the, the tow bar. She also has a camera which is mounted low down just above the number plate. And apart from the odd little dent or nick, she's generally in good condition all over. That's about as bad as it gets. It's on a Peugeot Boxer 2.2. We just flip the bonnet hood. We'll have a look underneath the bonnet. So again, there you can see how clean and tidy she really is. I think it's had two owners. Cab is in really good order. It's fitted with cab mats, the upholstery is good. And as I say, it does look newer than its age, 2014. But as I said, it's only got 7,000 miles on the clock just quickly go through the lockers that's the uh, set for toilet cassette just a standard cassette there there's the gas locker two bottles included again you can see how clean and tidy it is in there it has been looked after two side lockers the one on the left gives access under the seat and the one on the right it's a location for the leisure battery and the hook-up point. Okay, let's take a look in the habitation. Okay, as we said earlier, it's a two-berth. It's a very spacious motorhome. If we just look round the uh, interior quick and then we'll go into each individual appliance and uh, specification that's, that's on board. So really long side facing to tees which make up into uh, either two singles or a large double. Okay we swing back round. The TV, large uh, fridge with separate freezer. Standard kitchen, we'll come back to that in a minute. But the real standout feature of this motorhome is the uh, rear washroom, which takes up the entire width. So it's really a washroom come changing room. If we look to the right, we have a massive double wardrobe, large vanity sink, Thetford flush toilet, and freestanding shower. So you can see it's pretty much like your bathroom at home and this is the real selling point of the vehicle. The inside is exceptionally clean and tidy which it should be with just 7,000 miles on the clock and very little use. It's a um, three hob gas burner, very clean. The grivel and oven have hardly been used. As you can see, it's almost as new. Goes for the fridge, clean and tidy. 
separate freezer at the top. Plenty of room here for everything you'd ever need. Microwave above, storage above that. Plenty of storage throughout the motorhome, both above and below, which we'll come to in a minute when we make the beds up. The 12 volt TV, Avtex TV. And then we've got a nice big cupboard beneath. No problem with storage here at all. Okay, before we go into the bed arrangement, we'll just look at the cab itself. Just to confirm, it's on a Peugeot 2.2. Comes with aircon, cruise control, sat nav, Bluetooth connectivity for your mobile phone and reversing camera. And if we look at the mileage there, you can see that she is on 7,119. Hardly used at all. Seats are clean and fresh. It's a 2014, as we said, but it does look a lot newer than that. Above the cab, we have more storage. And underneath both the T's, more storage. And the one on the left, the same. So you'll have no problem storing all your knickknacks in this motorhome. Both cab seats rotate to face inwards. And the beds, as I said, can be used as two singles, which is, would be my preference, or pull them together and make a large double. Uh, if you're using them as singles, all you would need to do is take the back cushion off or just pull the uh, the bed box out slightly and let the back uh, cushion drop down behind it I'll show you that in a minute so there's the two single beds just the side cushions or the back cushion taken off and you've got a, uh, a long and wide uh, single both sides the same to make the large double all we need to do is pull the bed box out, pull the big cushion out, the back cushion drops behind and as you can see the side, this little side cushion stays as it is so the width of the full, uh, the double bed is as we see it there and we do the same on the other side to make up the space so you can see it's a huge double. The dining table is stored on this little side cupboard. Okay, just a standard dinette table, which you can put in the middle there. But you can see it's um, it's a long uh, lounge area, dinette area, so you'll have no problem getting six, maybe eight people in if you wish, but uh, it, it is only a two berth motor home, and that's probably all you want to have in here, to be honest. Um, it's got a good service record, completely up to date and a full habitation report and it will include a 12 month warranty as well.